welcome to the Master Wong Wing Chun training system. Again, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the energy drill again that you, some of you practice a lot of lap sound drill. Now, on the lap sound drill, when you work working on, what does it relate to when you start to use it? Why we say we have to use it in a certain way as twisting instead of straight punt coming in. Let me show you something you can understand me. Anybody, Jim? Let's see. Uh, open you up a little bit to explain to you what situation you might get into using that particular movement. So we do the punch roll, okay? Now, punch roll is very common. Everybody gonna punch you, okay? And this is where we change straight away to the lap side drill. Why we turn the hand like this all the time, like turn and then grab and turn like this, yeah? Like you stick to the arm and then turn. Instead of some of them, you do punch like this, yeah, like this, okay? So this is where we explain to you a little bit. So you get the idea, get the feeling. When you got a feeling for it, and then you can know what to play. You know, like when you go out and find some girl, you know, you look at her, pretty one. You got your heart pumping. You got some feeling what you want to do with her. And then you got some passion to come after her, yeah. But you got no feeling. Look at that girl over there, big and ugly. You've not got no feeling at all, you don't want to look at her. Not as long as you want to find out where she lives. <coughs> so this is important. Now when he punch coming in, for instance, like the hand here, this is where you have the arm here for lap out because you're there for breaking the arm. This is why you lay the hand here. Now of course, you can't do like the first one, we try to whoom here and then hit. But remember, you hit, it's a hand I fully extend, I won't want. I won't reach my target. Of course, I can walk in. We, you need to understand is time. I need enough time to work with faster. So I don't want to use the time that I don't need. That is why when the attack coming with this hand here, here, ha boom, and then I hear. I want to boom, arm break here. Arm is break already. Then I can come in, I can react on him, I can do whatever I want with him. All I want to do is just bottle one of his arm because he don't need him. No one asks you to punch me. If you're going to punch me and that damn thing is dangerous, I take away from you. I put that fucking thing in the bin. That's why you understand it's a lap cell. So when they talk a little bit, quickly coming in the line, boom, boom, ha, boom, here. Arm is gone. Then I come, boom, come in here. And that's not the one, the elbow. See, this is where, this is where you're so unique, yeah? Let's go slowly a little bit so they get the idea of this. Otherwise, too quick. You can't see what I'm doing. Line the hand, just right here. So this hand here, I just line right in the elbow here. Soon I have the elbow, it down here, try hit me, hit me, ooh, hit me. Mm. I can start sit there and say, you know what? What sort of um, food are gonna cook this geezer today? Huh? Chicken curry? Huh? Or put the guy into to have some vindaloo on him? I then I got an elbow land. Remember this one? Yeah, boom here. This is why you understanding the line of the hand coming here. You hit him on the top here. Grab this hand, that's why your hand here all the time. And boom, here, that's elbow gone. If you start to hook me this side, I understand this line here, I turn around here, and make sure, and no more arm left. And then I can start to bash him up. You can see the line of the movement, how you react, the way your body moves. It's very simple when you're understanding the line. This is where it laps out. So let me up a bit, then that's where it laps out. Work from the here. Without this learning, we try to make sure each time you come back, that hand is lock. So when you do get in this line, you don't get break that easily. That's why when you're attacking me, I won't be able to break your arms that easily. Yeah? If you're good, you can turn it over and then hook me. But because I'm turning this way, and then I control him. So on the lap side, it's not just about turning down this way. If you bend your back, bend, then if I'm not good, then that's where you get hit. This is why the laps out, turn, elbow come over, I control this line here on the wrist. 
So this is why being him here, hook, 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 hook. I control everything. The fucker won't be able to do nothing to you. It's not that somebody said, punch me. I do the lap sow. Go, lap sow, lap sow. Oh, I'm turning the hand. Yes, motherfucker. Yes, I turn in the hand. I'm gonna do lap sow now. Each one here I grabbing is a reason why I'm turning this way. It's because I do this way. Hit me. If I'm turning like this, hit me. See, boom. And that's it, you lost your face. Because your hand is pinging back if you turn this way, and that will turn when it come back, and that's locked. So a lot of time, everything we do, we try to make sure we lock it, like locking the door. They can't come in again. That's unique. Let me show you again faster, a little bit, so you can understand. Like, boom, boom, ha, boom, boom, come in here. I hope it's this side. Oh, boom, come here, come back, come back here. And then I can, boom, hit him, boom, hit him. And then I can, I can. I can do what I want with him now. Because in control. Control of situation. Know exactly where the thing is. So spend some time practice your laps out. When it's turning, make sure you lock. So you don't get your arm break. Don't tense too much. Because if you tense too much, you can't react. So when you need to tense, tense. We need to relax. You need to relax. You need to be able to plan on both. Hot cold, hot cold in the middle, nice and warm like today. Too hot, I can be. Dry up. Too cold, I can be. I'm in the middle, just like this. Play easy. I will see you next lesson.